On today's episode, we're gonna finish Scrap This Block. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Corolla Customs. My name is Ryan for those of you who don't know and on today's episode we're gonna completely disassemble our block hopefully. Um, it's a little cold in here. I'm still a little sick. Maybe you can hear it in my voice a little nasally but <coughs> with that being besides the uh, factor we're gonna try to completely strip this block. I'm gonna try to get out these lifters. They're kind of seized in there. Um, I'm gonna remove the pistons, remove the oil pan, uh, take out the uh, timing cover, remove the crank. I have the crank pulley, puller tool. All of the tools that are used in this video will be in the description below, so make sure you check it out in case you're planning on doing a job like this, as well as my regular basic tools that I use um, that'll help you in any job for the, this avalanche or any car, as a matter of fact, that you're gonna use. Also, head over to CorollaCustoms.com and you can see all my videos and my up-to-date material, as well as, uh, anything else that's on YouTube, you know? Um, and if you're new to this channel and you just hopped on, consider subscribing and also hit the bell notification on top. And for my returning subscribers, thank you. So let's just get started in this video. To remove our crank pulley, there's a 24 millimeter bolt that needs to be removed in order to remove our front cover. Here, I install my crank pulley remover tool. This is called a three jaw puller. Link will be in the description below. Each of the jaw clamps onto a dip on the crank pulley. I use a 3 8 extension in place of the crank bolt so that the bolt has something to press against while the jaw pulls the crank out, and I'll show you in this next clip. I use a 17mm socket to assist my puller tool to remove this crank. Next, we remove our front cover. There are 8 10mm bolts. With my electric impact gun, I remove all 8 of these bolts. There are two 10mm pan bolts that need to be removed, which hold on our timing cover. Now using a pry bar, gently remove the front cover. Look at that milkiness, this is insane. Now it's time to rotate my engine to expose my oil pan. Careful when doing this, there may be excess oil and coolant. I forgot to drain my block. Oh well. Now we remove all 14 of our 10mm bolts holding in our oil pan. Now we carefully remove our oil pan. Next, we work on removing our oil plate and our oil pickup tube. The plate has about 10 13mm nuts and the oil pickup tube has a 10mm bolt. Now we carefully remove our oil pickup tube along with our oil plate. Then we remove our four 10mm bolts holding in our oil pump. Alrighty guys, that is all the time I have for today. I'm sorry this episode was so short, um, but I have some things to do and I have to take care of, so I'm gonna cut the episode here today. I'm gonna edit it and release this one as part two of the engine teardown, and then part three, it'll finally be completely stripped and we'll go on to getting it cleaned and whatnot and cut. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I actually found before I end this episode. This is the oil pump. This is basically the heart of the engine, what pumps the oil inside, like our heart. So I'm gonna throw this off to the side. This is our skid plate. <clears throat> and this is our oil pickup tube. There is a bunch of sludge that's caught in this filter. So I might just get another one of this or just clean it the best I could. But if you can look in here, 
There's so much sludge in here. So much. I don't know how best you can see that, but all that black stuff in the pan is actually sludge. Let me see if I can scrape it off and show you. There you go. That's all sludge. That's what's been inside my engine pan. So, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to clean it somehow, get rid of it. We're gonna clean it. All I just have to do is remove these four uh, bolts, clean the entire pan, clean it up. You get a new gasket, get the whole kit, so. I look forward to doing this build, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this episode of part two. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification on top, as well as visit CorollaCustoms.com for all your Corolla Customs merchandise. And for the returning subscribers on my channel, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. See you tomorrow.